beautiful Virgos, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for February 2018. So before I jump in Virgo, I want to say very much so a big thank you to my friends over at Hair Entourage. They hooked me up with a cute little piece to wear for you guys while I am transitioning my natural hair and growing it out. A really nice protective style so I can continue my natural hair journey with you guys. So thank you so much to my friends over at Hair Entourage. If you want to know more about them, see what other beautiful pieces they have, I put it all in the description box. <laughs> down below so feel free to check it out all right Virgo so this month is actually we don't have a full moon this month because we had the full moon lunar eclipse happening on the 31st of January in your 12th house and I'm telling you what Virgo here's what I know about you you got a little something brewing down there that lunar eclipse made me believe you got a little something brewing beneath the surface a little plan a little project a little plot a little something brewing down there that we're gonna get to see a little bit later in the year pop out I really think you've probably got a beautiful project Project you've been working on and you're slowly moving towards maybe the reality of actually getting that out of the shadow space and into the world and I think this lunar eclipse definitely helped you see some hidden parts of the project or maybe even hidden parts of yourself and those will reveal themselves I really genuinely believe before the end of the year so but no full moon for February so we have no huge crescendo no big ending for the month now we do have a solar eclipse which is our actually our new beginning for the month so this is very exciting stuff and this is going to be happening in the sign of Aquarius so this is actually going to be happening for you in the sixth house this is great this is related to work Virgos who do anything related to social media for work I think you're definitely going to get some help here and I'll talk about that when I'm breaking the month down by date but first and foremost what really I think rules this month especially being February the month of love and romance I'm very excited about February. I love it every year. Um, <laughs> is that there's a lot of Venus and Neptunian energy happening and floating around this month. So it's going to be a really delicious month for being able to bring some harmony, bring some love, bring some value, maybe even bring some financial benefit to all things. Okay. Venus getting in here, that's what she wants to do. It's a very diplomatic energy. Pisces is a very soft energy for us. It's compassion, it's forgiveness, it's creativity. It's it's all of these things and for you with Venus going into Pisces it's stepping into the opposite energy for you this is the seventh house so if your relationship has needed a little love a little diplomacy or a relationship in your life has needed a little love or diplomacy this is definitely a time where I think Venus is trying to bring this relationship into some kind of harmony now Pisces wants depth right they really do so I also feel like some of the relationships in your life this month could go to another level they're just deeper they're just it's a time where you're you maybe feel more connected it's very much so soulmate energy and remember that soulmate energy is not always romantic if you've been stuck you've been struggling you just been hanging out being you this is a time where this Venus Pisces energy could certainly pull in a soulmate you expand and you see the next level of living that you can actually go to it's just the most beautiful experience when you walk into a soulmate and if you've never had the experience let me tell you I am selling it short even trying Trying to describe it and I would tell you especially look out pay attention to energy from February 21st February 22nd Venus is actually gonna hug it out with Neptune and this is wonderful this is the Bopsy twins Venus and Neptune together love romance they love bliss they love all of those things so it's a very um, it's a very rose blush romantic kind of energy and you could definitely be ushering something beautiful or significant relationship into your life and that could be friendship or business as well but literally with the Pisces Venus here the vibration of these things gets higher and higher and a lot more depth really love this now the other things that I'm thinking about for you this month um, Virgo is how much especially if you're if you have been single or you've started dating someone as we're coming into February this energy of Venus being here then we'll have Mercury join then the Sun is actually very very useful for making something a little bit more solid in the first half of the month and you may even be working towards making something a little bit more solid but maybe you're not talking about it in the second half of the month when conversation becomes very blurry and confusing but I wouldn't stress about it 
enjoy what's going on enjoy the people around you enjoy the relationships make sure that the relationships in your world are bringing you joy and bringing substance it's not just this blind happy energy is it nurturing your soul and are you nurturing the souls projects talents values of other people and allowing them to do the same okay when we do get into the solar eclipse energy so let me just tell you this venus moves into pisces on the 10th so that's when you can kind of start to watch this magic unfold on the 15th we've got the solar eclipse it's our new moon for the month planting those new seeds of intention new beginnings we're going to watch them pan out right this is happening in Aquarius in your sixth house. So this is a wonderful energy. If you're looking for a job, you want a new position, you work freelance, you do any of those things, get online. Aquarius is a social energy. Get online, get social, do a meetup, go to a job fair, get social because there is a space where maybe you could collect employment in some way, shape or form. The other thing that I feel like is that if your social platforms are not strong this is the time to get them up to up to snuff right you can be like oh i want to have this job well if you're not dressed and by dressed i mean even your online presence isn't suited up for that sexy new position that you want to be when you grow up you're really missing the boat of opportunity now the other thing i think of is like i said some of you virgos may work with something that has to do with social media technology something like that it has a very high technological or really big group presence energy this this could be a time where you actually find a new beginning with um, co-workers right some co-workers could suit up show up and you start to have new relationships here they're not all gonna be peachy keen but I do think you have some new harmonious relationships that could be coming in here as well and the last thing I want to say about this um, solar eclipse here in the sixth house is if you have a job this eclipse could show you if you lack the technological know-how or the um, networking know-how to advance in this career. If you don't have a tribe, if you're not showing up at the office parties ever, things like that, it's really gonna hamper you. This energy is about getting you social so you can have success. And some of this for you could look like in the sixth house as well. Of course, you're getting social and taking care of your health and your fitness, including mental health. If you need to go to counseling, this is a wonderful energy to kickstart you in that direction as well. Now, when we get to the 17th, Mercury moves into Pisces. When we get to the 18th, the sun joins over here. This is all well and good. Love this energy. It's wonderful for a very um, lush, vibrant, fantasy-based kind of conversation, which is beautiful. We need the creative. After the 17th of the month, it is not a great energy to make really big decisions, sign contracts, do anything like that. Mercury moving into Pisces puts Mercury in fall, which means he's uncomfortable. He is not a great expression of himself here. Mercury wants clear, cut, quick, sure, detailed decisions, conversation, all of those things. And in Pisces, he's swimming through water so the details are blurry. You think you know what you're seeing. You think you know what you're talking about. And maybe you really don't. This is why it's wonderful for the romance, for the harmony and the relationships, for easier conversation, but it's not great for something solid. Follow that by the fact that on the 25th, we've got Mercury coming then into alignment with Neptune. Again, um, more of this Neptunian energy, so not clear. And then on the 28th, Mercury is coming into a square with Mars, which now your action is blocked as well. So you could find yourself feeling frustrated by the end of the month. That's why I say, you know, if you can lean into the kind of go with the flow vibe of February, it's all the better for you so that you don't lose your tacos trying to force something forward. So do your best. There's plenty of benefit coming to you in February. No huge crescendos, but it certainly doesn't mean that life is not happening and not significantly pushing you in some new exciting directions as well. All right, Virgos, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in this month's $3 Thursdays where we will be talking about transits against the natal chart. So if you're like, I don't understand what you mean, Stormy, when you say that Mercury's in Pisces in blah, blah, blah house, that's not where it's at in my chart. This is your talk. Come join us. Get signed up in the description box down below. And of course, join me for my brand new reform.
formatted astrology 101 class and because I'm launching something new at you the March session only of this 101 class is only $50 you can take all five weeks with me for $50 so make sure you get signed up those spaces will fill quickly but I hope that you'll be one of the people who's in there all right guys I love you I'll see you next month